What you guys got another video here for you. Now I've been asked by some of my YouTube members can I make some more videos on Hiren's Boot CD. So here we go with this one we're going to be showing you how to edit the uh, startup programs uh, menu using Hiren's Boot CD. Now obviously the operating system may not be able to boot. Now malware can cause this where the operating system won't boot, you can't get into safe mobile networking and stuff like that and you want to start by removing um, programs on the startup. Now you can also delete drivers, uh, stop services and stuff like that using this method okay and I'll show you how to do it using Hiren's Boot CD. So let's reboot the system and assume that we've got a non-booting machine here where we can't access anything okay. We can't get into safe mode and I'm going to show you how to go around doing it okay. So let's reboot the system to our Hiren's Boot CD. I'm going to quickly restart here. Okay, what I want to do here, now I've got Hiren's up, what I want to do is come down to Mini Windows XP. I'm going to load this up. Okay, so now we're at the uh, desktop of our Hiren's Boot CD, of our Windows Mini XP. Now what we want to do here is come down to the bottom right hand side here, right click on this, and we want to go to where it says Start Up, and we want to go to Auto Runs. Now Auto Runs is an awesome tool to actually use, it's from Sys Internals, and it's an awesome tool for removing um, malware and also startup programs that you want to remove. Now you can do that from the normal desktop or from safe mode but we're assuming that we can't boot to that sort of environment i.e. safe mode or the desktop so here we are in Hirens okay so what we want to do here assuming that we can't boot to our system and now we've got malware and infections on that system we can actually access all this from this location now obviously what we're loaded into here is our X drive which isn't our Windows operating system this is the actual live CD so we want to come up to file here analyze our offline system this is going to allow us to load up our Windows directory on the system that's not booting so we can see system root here we're going to browse to that location local disk D is our drive come down to the Windows directory click OK here it'll automatically put in the user profile straight in there click OK and you can see it's now loaded this up now you can see VirtualBox here but yours will be your operating system that is loaded into and now that will give you full access to uh, areas to remove ticks to whatever you want whether it will be the run area and all that sort of stuff you can remove it from here drivers services you name it it can do the whole lot so here's the actual services area here and you can actually see the information down the bottom dot sys files and the actual path to where that is okay now normally uh, you can have rootkits or trojans inside here or even uh, stuff like that hidden in there you can take the tick out if you wish or you can right click delete it verify it jump to that folder and search online so if we jump to the folder it will take us to that location and we can manually delete it ourselves or rename it dot old or whatever it may be that you want to do with that file okay so that's basically how you can remove that so you can use it to remove other stuff in those areas as well now you could manually go to the drivers area and it will take you to that area itself or you can go to services stop services from running you've also got uh, known DLLs and up the top here if you look on the everything here this is where that you'll get the run now there's not a lot of stuff inside here um, granted because this area has only got one thing here but you would have a list of stuff programs that are running on boot up and that's the stuff that you want to take the ticks out of or you can actually delete them okay from the list and that's basically how you use this program to actually remove startup programs from the um, startup menu in a live environment so if your PC is infected and you can't boot up and you can't get into safe mode and then you can use this method as well okay you can also use Kaspersky Rescue CD and stuff like that but it's just another way of doing things let me shut this down and reboot the system
So that's basically how you use Hiram's Boot CD to remove uh, startup programs from the uh, startup menu using auto runs. It's done by Sys Internals. Now, if you can get to the desktop here and stuff like that, you can also use uh, Sys Internals as a standalone program. Uh, you can actually download it from Sys Internals website. Uh, all you need to do here is type in auto runs and it will take you pretty much straight there. You just come to this area here and there you have the actual program okay this has just been embedded into that Hiram's Boot CD so you can use it from here if you can actually get to uh, this location so I think that's going to be about it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show support by rating and favoriting all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now, if you've got any video requests then send me a message to uh, YouTube and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. So thanks again, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.